In today's video, we're going to be comparing the Dermablend Professional Setting Powder in the color Warm Saffron to Laura Mercier's Medium Deep Setting Powder. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jensine, aka Jungle Naps. If you're new here and you like seeing beauty products pitted against each other to see which one performs better, go ahead and subscribe. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 9 a.m. And if you're an oldie but a goodie subby, hey boo, it's nice to see you again. So, as you guys already know by the title of this video, we're gonna compare two different setting powders. Now, I recently got the Dermablend Professional Setting Powder in Warm Saffron in the Sephora VIB sale. And you guys really wanted me to compare it to this one right here the Laura Mercier medium deep setting powder now I've tried the translucent one from Dermablend I love it it's amazing it's even in my top five favorite setting powders video and I love this one as well so I'm really interested to see how the warm saffron shade compares and performs now I'm going to be applying my concealer. Today I've got the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer, which I love. It's a great, great dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape. I've got you guys all nice and close. We're going to get things started. I'm going to show you how I apply my concealer, and then we're going to test out these two setting powders. What I love about this particular concealer is that it's really, really, really light. Now it's not full coverage. Because it's lighter, it's not going to be as full coverage as the Tarte Shape Tape that I recently reviewed. Um, but you know what? It does the job really, really well. So today I'll be using the Eco Tools little sponge to go ahead and blend everything out. Now I'm also going to take this concealer and apply it in my chin, down the bridge of my nose, and on my forehead. So now we're ready. I'm going to apply the Derma Blend on this side of my face, and then the Laura Mercier is going to go on this side. What I love about this little Derma Blend, they give you these cute little sponges. Now it's up to you whether or not you want to use them. I like to use my Beauty Blender, but I just think it's cute, and if you end up traveling with it, you know, it's something that you can use. And actually, we're just going to dab the setting powder with my, um, what is this called? It's the Kat Von D setting powder brush. I love this one. Of course, if you bake, you can use your beauty blender or makeup sponge to do that. We're just going to tap it lightly, push the excess on the area that we concealed. Okay, now the Laura Mercier is going to go right under here. And I'm using the other side of my setting brush, the clean side, so that way we don't get any mixture, any contaminants. Stop the excess. Okay, so this is what it looks, guys, right after application. Dermablend side. Laura Mercier side. Initially, there's only the very finest difference as far as first impressions go. Now, I noticed that the Dermablend side, it does tend to stick to some of my drier patches under my eyes, and the Laura Mercier is a little bit more finely milled on this side. But I will say that the actual color of the Dermablend is slightly warmer than Laura Mercier's, just a touch. Now, you guys, we're really getting into like the fine details of it, um, unless you are really, really picking for something, <laughs> you know, these are the things that you would actually find. But they both look really, really nice. Now we have to see if they're gonna hold up to creasing. If I see any creasing, if I see any separation, if I see any dryness. Um, so I'm gonna come back, we're gonna do a little check-in in a bit. I'm gonna finish my makeup, and I want you guys to tell me, on your first impression, let me know, what do you guys think down in the comments? I love hearing your input when I do these kinds of makeup reviews, and um, so far, so far, I'm feeling it. We'll see what happens when I come back for my check-in. Hey fam, so I'm back, 
And I've had my makeup on for, I'd say about five hours. Um, both sides look fantastic. Again, this is the Dermablend side and this is the Laura Mercier side. Now, if I'm gonna be super, super, super picky about um, the performance of each, I do notice that, you know, when I get super close to the mirror around the places on my eye where I do have creasing, some of the powder has kind of worn off. So what I would actually say is for those of you guys that have a lot of creasing around your eyes, you know, be prepared to touch this up. Um, I would actually like to take a eco tool sponge next time and really pack it in there. I think that would help it stay more. I think it needed a little bit more like oomph, you know, um, than just the setting brush. So that would be my recommendation. Both of them look exactly the same. They perform exactly the same. There's almost no color difference afterwards now that my makeup is done and set and it's been sitting on my face for a while. And I would actually say, you know, when you look at the price difference, because the Derma Blend is, I believe, $27 in the US, and then the Laura Mercier is around $39. So when you look at the price difference, I mean, the Derma Blend one definitely looks more attractive attractive if you're definitely on a budget um you know i would say hey give it a try because they both look really 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 similar i'm noticing that those dry patches around my eyes and the derma blend side are not evident now so it could be that my face just kind of like warmed it up you know it warmed up the product uh so that's something to consider so my vote is I love the Derma Blend Warm Saffron. I think they both perform equally. If we're going to be really, really picky, then the areas with a lot of creasing, they might wear off with time, but I think that that can easily be fixed. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling it. Um, again, let me know what you guys think in the comments. And as always, I love you guys. Don't forget to check out my beauty product review playlist. I have tons of good stuff in there if you're new to my channel and you haven't watched that one yet. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!